Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today is going to be a really quick tutorial on item st states uh, which has been added in 2023.3. So the first thing that we need to do is it's going to require a couple textures. Uh, you're going to need at least two textures for this to work um in order to make any use of it and then you're going to need to create a regular item so uh basically what an item state is it allows you to change the texture based on a certain condition um i'll be showing all the advanced stuff that i know about in today's video so we're going to select the default state which is going to be our vanilla or our regular texture so in this case we want it to be clear and then under these this property here you have some built-in properties that you can basically assign uh, you have a whole bunch of them uh, which are um, built into the actual program you can also assign your own custom ones by creating a new um, basically a new state so we're going to call it uh, weather and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to return a number based on the type of weather that we're having so we're going to create a procedure using this and then we can go ahead and uh, make a uh, quick if statement and we're, we're going to need to test if it's raining now in some cases uh, when you see the little icon of over the uh, particular thing it's like looks like a list that means that it's server side now as far as I can tell the item states aren't supported on server side so you'll have to pick things that are basically on client side or um, that will work on client side so in this case we want to know if it's raining and then we're going to return a one uh, if it is and return zero if it isn't. So once we've done that, it should link up properly to your uh, procedure here. Uh, just make sure to use the number return block and then it should show up in the list here. We can set the, the minimum va or the value to one and then we can save and then we can finally set our property. So in this case, I want it to uh, be raining you can select the model there and then you can set any properties that you want and in this case I'm just going to put it under a creative tab for redstone so it's easy access and all the other settings can be adjusted um, as you wish so we'll save this and then we'll pop in game and in game uh, I just need to grab it from the redstone tab so we'll go down and then you can see that that's our icon for the weather and we can see that it's in working order so we'll go ahead and type weather rain and it should update so as you can see it changed the texture of the item itself and if we go back to weather clear it will take a couple seconds because the rain needs to go away but it will switch back over so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video i know it's a little bit short but uh it's uh, I noticed that there was some confusion about some of this from some of the comments, so I thought I would cover it. Uh, anyhow, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.